Welcome to the brand new series of Rally Point. I'm Tom, and this show is your place to get all things Total War related from the previous month. And we also have for you an exclusive teaser and a interview with one of the cinematic artists that worked on the Dark Elf trailer. So let's get started. This previous month, we've been focused on the High Elves. So we've had the model showcases from Tyrion and Teclas, the Sword Masters of Hoeth, and we also had our first High Elf Let's Play. If you haven't seen it yet, it's set in Mosquito Swamp and features many new units, including the Frostheart and Flamesfire Phoenixes. Last week, we released the Dark Elf trailer, which is my favorite faction, which also makes it my favorite trailer so far. Um, and I managed to grab Chris, the main cinematic artist that worked on the trailer, to ask him a few questions. How best to engage emotionally and connect people with villains such as Morathia and Malekith. We broke it down to something we can all understand, their motivations. So, you know, what drives them to do what they do. I did scour books, articles, forms, whatever I can find of the Dark Elves and the protagonists. There's a familial tragedy with them and their history. Malekith's lost birthright being the progeny of the first Phoenix King. Malekith strutting with his godlike gait, deflecting bolts before the summoning. I mean, guy's unstoppable. <laughs> Every time I watch it, it certainly sends a chill down my spine, and it's because of the, the strong elements that really make that scene. Well, there's a, there's a tremendous amount of technical challenges we faced creating this trailer. Uh, shooting our scenes on the ground level, and working with a system that was made primarily for an RTS. So we needed to ensure that we captured the horror of, the, of facing the Dark Elves. Uh, an important process of pre is that we did live action blocking of the scenes. And it's an important component to ensure that we get a real physical sense of how to approach this trailer and how we, of what we want to accomplish with mocap. But in the end, I think it really contributed to, to the fantastic work the team has done for this piece. Lastly, I just want to say pay attention to the details of the trailer because there may or may not be something that will tease us on what's coming up next. We also showed you the Dark Elf roster, so if you'd like to see the full details of that or anything else that's mentioned in the show today, you can click on the link in the description below. In historical news, we've announced a brand new spin-off series, A Total War Saga. And they're games similar to the size of Fall of the Samurai and focus on pivotal moments of history. We released this teaser image, and if you'd like to join in discussion on where you think the next game will be set, you can head over to the forums and join in there. You may have also noticed some weird things happening on our Facebook page, including a 360 image, um, a Facebook header video, and also a mysterious letter. They might be worth checking out. This year we were at E3 to give some of you a chance to play through the Battle of the Fallen Gates from Warhammer 2. This was the first year that E3 was open to the public, so this was a new experience for us as well. Um, and we managed to grab some of you afterwards to find out your thoughts after playing the demo. The difference in the land masses and the environments immediately that I saw from Ulthuang to Lustria was incredible. Since I'm also like a tabletop fan, like I also, I also have um, like a huge affinity towards Warhammer. So you guys making this game, that was like amazing for me, so. I got destroyed. Yeah, he did the hard demo. <laughs> I, th I did the easy demo. I wanted to try it and like feel everything out. Oh, uh, well, I thought the quest battles are kind of a huge step up from the, the previous titles actually, because uh, the intro cutscenes seemed a lot more dynamic than before. And just sort of the overall pacing and flow of the battle, it felt a little, a lot longer and a lot more uh, interesting. And it was beautiful, like it looked great too. It got me hyped to play the game. Like, I was just, I just got me excited to play because it was a cool like overview and like I showed the commanders and stuff and the games. I, I was kind of like I want to play a high elf, but I guess I'll do a lizard man. And then once I was lizard man, I'm like, okay, yeah, lizard man was the right call. And These factions are so interesting to me and the lore that I'm excited to play with them on the campaign map and kind of see how they're unique. Actually, I've never been a player where I've wanted to paint the map my color. Like I've never been that type of player. I find that like by the time I've completed my goals, it's before that. So I think it's a really good move. We were also at the Develop Awards where we won a um, music design award for Warhammer 1 and we also won Best In-House Studio. So congratulations to the audio team and the studio as a whole. Yeah. 
At Total War, we're lucky to have such an active community. Um, you're always creating amazing content around our games, and here's a few of our favourites. YouTube user Eman Gameplay has recreated one of my favourite Total War intros, the Rome Total War intro trailer, using Warhammer. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. We are constantly amazed by the creations that you make using the map building tools. Steam user Marga has created an amazing tabletop themed custom map in Total War Warhammer. Ubersreich Inn is a tavern situated on the River Tufel, just a little downstream from the Grey Mountains. Venture inside, grab a beer and travel to the northern Badlands where a greenskin base of operations lies at a hotly contested crossroads between nations. Next we head back to Total War Attila. We've noticed that a lot of you have been posting some awesome screenshots and here are a few of our favourites. Thank you for watching this episode of Rally Point. Please do let us know what you think, as we want this to be a show for you, giving you an easy way to access everything happening around Total War. And don't forget to follow us on forward slash Total War on Facebook and Twitter, and forward slash Total War Official on Instagram and Twitch. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next month. Oh, an exclusive teaser? Here it is.